Hey everyone, it's Stellar. In today's tutorial, I'm showing you how to open your USB drive in your Quest 2, Quest 3, and Quest Pro. This also works for external hard drives. Since the most common USB drives are Type-A and Quest headsets require a USB-C connection, you'll need a USB-C OTG adapter to connect your USB drive to your Quest headset. The small but crucial piece of hardware will bridge the gap between your USB drive and your Quest device. If your primary goal is to watch movies from your USB drive, you can use video players available in the Quest Store like Moon VR Video Player and 4X Video Player. These apps can read video files directly from the USB and require no additional setup. But if your preferred video player can read files only from the internal storage, like big screen for example, there's an extra step you need to do. You'll need to use a file manager to copy the videos from your USB drive to your Quest storage, which I will show you in method number 2. But before that, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing. For accessing and managing all other files in your USB drives or external hard drives, Total Commander paired with a USB plugin is the perfect option. However, this requires you to have developer mode enabled on your headset. If you're unfamiliar with the process, I've got a quick guide for you linked in the description below. Once you've enabled developer mode, your first step is to download the needed apps. Open the Quest browser and navigate to apkpure.com. Here, search for Total Commander and download the APK file. Total Commander is a powerful file manager that will enable you to access and manage the files in your Quest headset. After downloading Total Commander, your next step is to download the USB plugin necessary for reading your drives. In the search bar on APK Pure, type USB by Paragon. and select XFAT slash NTFS for USB by Paragon. This plugin will allow Total Commander to access USB drives formatted in XFAT or NTFS. Now to install these two apps, you need Mobile VR Station. Visit the Quest Store and download Mobile VR Station. When you open Mobile VR Station for the first time, it'll ask for permission to access your files. You won't see it on my video, but you'll get the prompt. Make sure to click Allow. Click the red power button in the app to begin. Navigate through Local Files, All Folders, Android, then Data, and select Scope Storage Actions. Finally, click Request Access. Here's where you navigate to your downloaded APK files. Check your device name at the top, that's Quest 3 for me, and find your download folder. You should see the Total Commander and USB plugin installers there. To install, click the four small arrows at the top right corner of each installer. Hit Continue, then Install. Do the same for the other installer. After installing, close Mobile VR Station and go to the Unknown Sources section in your library. Open the plugin and accept the privacy policy and license agreement. You'll get this message telling you about Google Play services not being supported by your device. Just ignore that and click OK. And for the newsletter, that's up to you. Now it's time to plug your USB drive into your Quest headset. Your screen might turn black, but there's actually a prompt there. Just press the meta button on your controller to see it. Click OK on this prompt. Now you should see your USB drive. Click on mount and wait for a few seconds for it to get mounted. You need to grant it permission to access your storage. Select open settings and click on the toggle. Go back to the main menu and click open. This opens Total Commander. Accept the privacy policy. 
If your USB drive is not showing, just remove it and plug it again. So if you see this black screen again, you know what to do. A message will show your USB device is being connected. Now let's hit mount once more. Then click open. Your file should now be visible and accessible for copying, moving, renaming, deleting, etc. If you need to copy files from your USB drive to the internal storage for use with a specific video player, press and hold on the file, select copy, then use the double right arrow to choose the destination for the copy. But first, click OK to grant Total Commander permission to access your files. You can then choose to copy or move the file. Now let's open the big screen video player. By default, it opens the movies folder, and here's the video file I copied earlier. If you happen to save your file somewhere else, just use the navigation buttons below to find that folder. So that's how easy it is to open your USB drive in your VR headset. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.